an almost forgotten classification since the Second World War re-entered the weapons system literature with the joint venture of FNSS and PT Pimdad. Medium tank. The new vehicle is called the Kaplan MT in Turkey, and the Hari Mau Hitam in Indonesia. This medium tank, designed according to the geographical conditions of Indonesia, has already attracted great attention from other Southeast Asian countries. As the weapon detective, we are investigating what the new vehicle's design tells us. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start. In the early 2010s, Indonesia introduced the renewal of the old MX-13s, which is now considered obsolete. The government in Jakarta preferred a joint development model with an overseas partner that would provide technology transfer rather than the direct procurement. Thus, it would have been possible to fully meet the requirements rather than to does not procure a vehicle that is suitable to country's special geographical conditions at the nearest level. But that will. The key factor of this plan was to find correct partner. After a careful investigation Indonesia decided on Turkish company FNSS. This preference was based on several important references. Turkey and Indonesia have good relations and cultural ties. This was important for the government in Jakarta, which at times had problems with Western countries especially in terms of security. It should not be forgotten that the big US and European defense companies generally do not show interest in regional projects that provide low profit. When they show, the cost is high. However, FNSS had both a successful product and an acceptable size budget in the AV-8 armored vehicle joint development program with Malaysia which is another country in the region. In addition, the company did not make any restrictions on technology transfer, unlike its Western competitors. PT Pindad of Indonesia was selected as a local partner for the program. In this context, an agreement was signed between the two companies in 2014. One year later, the governments of Indonesia and Turkey first agreed to jointly develop a new medium tank which is called the Kaplan MT by FNSS and Harry Mau Hitam by PT Pimdad. In the next sections of our video, we will use the name Kaplan MT instead of Harry Mau Hitam. Our Indonesian audiences, please don't be taken, because Kaplan MT is easier to pronounce. The first prototype out of the vehicle was manufactured in FNSS plant in Turkey. Following the successful completion of the extensive trials, the hull was sent to Indonesia for integration of the Cockrile 3105 turret developed by the Belgian CMI. After the trials, the final configuration was determined. The Kaplan MT was exhibited for the first time at the IDEF 2017 defense exhibition in Turkey. The serial production order was given in 2020. The three-man crew of the Kaplan MT consists of commander, gunner, and driver. The tank has nearly 9.1 meters length in gun forward position, 3.36 meters width, and 2.46 meters height. The combat weight is about 32 tons. But, with additional armored pack it is increasing to 35 tons. Thanks to 711 horsepower Caterpillar C13 diesel engine, the Kaplan MT can reach 70 km per hour speed. Its road range is 450 km. In addition with 105 mm main gun, there is a 7.62 mm secondary gun on the turret. In order to analyze Kaplan MT's features in a healthy way, it will be useful to first look at the special conditions of Indonesia. Indonesia is a tropical country in Southeast Asia and Oceania, between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It was founded in 1949 on more than 17,000 islands. As a developing country, infrastructure in Indonesia is accepted as considerable poor. Dominated by the tropical rainforest climate, the islands are mostly challenging environment like jungles, wet soft soil, and high volcanic hills. There are 633 recognized ethnic groups in Indonesia. So, the government in Jakarta has to tackle important separatist groups in some areas. Of course, it is not possible to have a large garrison on each of the islands that are tens of thousands in number. So, Indonesia has to have an army which is highly mobile to respond to these security challenges. Therefore, 
The country needs land vehicles with high mobility on the soft ground, mountainous area, and in the jungle. They can be easily transported from the air and the sea. These vehicles should be easy and inexpensive to maintain, but also effective against asymmetric threats. Another requirement is that they can perform operations independently from the bases for a long time. These criteria shape the carplane MT. Its platform is designed for optimum weight and high mobility performance. Being lighter than main battle tanks, the medium tank has low ground pressure which provides higher mobility on mud and poor roads. The Leopard 2s of the Indonesia could be bogged down on the most part of the country because of their high weight. According to Newton Physic, we know that force equal mass times acceleration. So, heavier vehicle produces more force. There are lots of mountainous area on Indonesia. When a vehicle travels down from a hill, it is subject to gravitational acceleration. With the effect of this acceleration, the heavier the tank is pulled down under the influence of the greater force. In this case, the engine must produce more power and prevent the tank from continuing down. This situation also increases the workload of the driver who has to control the engine output during the process. A lighter vehicle which has also higher power to weight ratio, is easier to control as it is subjected to less force when going downhill. Additionally, latest technology power pack of the carplane MT is combined with advanced electronic controlled systems which make easier the driver's job. The intelligent software of the cooling unit provides optimum torque efficiency and fuel savings for the engine. Thanks to its low weight, a medium tank can be transported by a tactical cargo aircraft, unlike the main battle tank. In 2017, Indonesia ordered five 400 ms which can carry 35 tons load. This aircraft cannot transport a Leopard 2. With the 400 m and Carplane MT, the Indonesian Army is increasing its quick respond capability which is essential for a country on the vast number of islands. In current situation, Indonesia does not expect any invasion. The main security problem is separatist movements. So, the main threat perception of the Indonesian army is asymmetric ones. The separatist groups do not have heavy armored vehicles and large caliber guns. They generally use RPGs, anti-tank guided missiles, landmines, and machine guns with the heaviest 14.5 mm. This type of warfare does not require for heavy armor and big guns like 120 mm. The armor protection of the Carplane MT is against 14.5 mm armor piercing munitions. In this point some of our audience may ask that why Indonesia does not prefer procuring new light tanks instead of medium tanks. The answer is simple, the landmines and improvised explosive devices which can be easily hided in jungles. The light tanks do not have enough armor protection against these types of threats. However, the Carplane MT can stand explosives equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT exploded at its V-shaped bottom. The protection level of the medium tank is enough for asymmetric warfare. Also, the ballistic protection can be increased against 30 mm munition with add-on arm pack, thanks to modular structure of the Carplane MT. Whereas a light tank is usually designed taking into account the 15 to 20 ton combat weight criterion. Therefore, the suspension and the engine are not suitable for large additional armored packs to be placed in the vehicle against heavier caliber weapons. The Carplane MT is equipped with day and thermal cameras for driver, multifunctional digital driver dashboard, third generation high performance sight system for gunner and commander. In addition, Battlefield Management System and Laser Warning System is also available to provide tactical and situational awareness for the crew. If the Laser Warning System detects a threat, smoke grenades on the turret are launched to create a smoke screen. These types of equipment ensure the vehicle's survivability and combat efficiency. Optionally, the Carplane MT can be equipped with Active Protection System. The hull and turret have a design that lowers the radar and infrared trace. In a counterinsurgency operation, the units have to operate far from their main base. So, interior of the Carplane MT is engineered carefully considering the ergonomics of the crew. Also, the medium tank has powerful air condition system. The vehicle has an auxiliary power unit which recharges the battery system. 
Thus, the turret can be used when the vehicle's engine is not running. The vehicle's advanced battery monitoring system is also equipped to offer optimum power management and silent surveillance capabilities. The 105mm main gun of the Carplane MT can be elevated to 42 degrees. Thus, the median tank has indirect fire capability in a range of 18 km. High elevation degree also permits to engage in urban and multi-complex terrains. For direct fire it is supported with a state-of-art fire control system which provides high first shot to kill ratio. Thanks to independent commander periscope, the Carplane MT gains hunter-killer feature. The feeding of the main gun is provided by autoloader. The gun can fire Faleric 105 laser-guided anti-tank ammunition which can penetrate 550mm armor in a range of 5000 meters. During the development phase, many parts of the hull were borrowed from a CV series and Carplane 20 tracked armored vehicles of FNSS had proven themselves. Thus, while increasing reliability, a significant decrease was achieved in the development process and costs. Besides, this preference reduces operational costs and makes easy to find spare parts. Although Indonesia does not expect any danger of invasion today, it is not known what breaks might occur in the future. In such a scenario, soldiers can be landed to Indonesia, an island state, only by amphibious and airborne assault. These type assault forces have generally lightweight vehicles with considerable small caliber guns. So, the capabilities of the Carplane MT would be very effective in such a war scenario. The Carplane MT was designed to answer to special requirement of Indonesia. But other Southeast Asia countries which have same geographic conditions have already expressed their interest on this medium tank. Bangladesh, Brunei, and the Philippines are closest candidates of being the future users of the vehicle. But there are several other potential customers from Africa and even South America. Many countries are looking for new tank as the replacement of their current obsolete ones. And the Western world can offer only highly expensive, overgunned, and heavy vehicles which are not suitable for them. For these countries, a modern medium tank is real option to modernize their inventories. Considering current military needs, a medium tank like the Carplane MT has bigger chance to reach bigger international market than new generation main battle tank which are currently developing. But don't be mistaken, at the dawn of the Second Cold War, they are not rival of each other on the battlefield. If we mention about a modern army, the medium tank exists to supplement the main battle tank, not to replace it. Thanks for watching our new video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.